between Harry Anderson and uh, John Larroquette. It must be a riot on it's the set. Const- it is constant. There is very little serious business going on there, except for when it comes to rehearsals. We, we're we serious about making something funny, but we the way that we find it to be funny is to just keep playing and ad-libbing, and there is very little seriousness that goes on that set, and I think it's I think it shows. Can you yes. remember some of the crazier things that Harry has done as he bring his magic tricks? <laughs> he came on one day, and he held his arm out in front of me and took a big, huge butcher knife and slammed it down, and blood started coming out of his arm. I almost fainted. It was absolutely brilliantly done and uh, and got the got the effect he meant to get, which was <laughs> to gross me out completely. He likes to do that. He likes to gross me out as completely as he can with his magic tricks. John LaRiquette likes to gross me out completely with his language. <laughs> John LaRiquette is the raunchiest person I know in my life. He's also one of the most brilliant. <laughs> so put that combination together and you're dead, especially when you're me, because I embarrass easily. And they love that, and they know that, and they take full advantage of it. Really? They're always trying to make you blush? Oh, they do. They love it. Yeah, they love it. Anything they can do, if they get me, they, it's, they have made their day. Do you feel that you have to keep up with them, with the one-liners and the jokes and all I that? I used to. I used to. I don't anymore. I sit back and I let them go. And I, and I also let them let me be the brunt of their jokes because they love that. So I'm, I'm, their, I'm their functionary there. <laughs> and they like me. They like to sort of protect me, too. I think they feel a little protective towards me, which I like. It's like having four big brothers on the show. Richard is, what is he like? He's bizarre. He's a Shakespearean-trained actor. Who would know? He, I guess of all of us is the most serious. He's constantly rehearsing behind it. He'll be, you'll hear this muttering going on behind you when you're on the set, and you'll look around, and it's Richard practicing two words. He'll have a two-word uh, line, and he'll be practicing it forever. And he'll say it this way, and he'll say it that way, and he'll say it another way until you finally say, that was good, Richard, why don't you do it that way? And then when he does it, he does it exactly the same every single time. And you can see his, his efforts pay off. How would you compare your experiences on this show with what you had to go through in The Fall Guy? Oh, I would say it was like being out of the frying pan and into heaven. <laughs> That's how I describe it. Not the fog. It was not a good show. Or it wasn't a good experience. Actually, it wasn't so great of an experience as an actor for me. But, I mean, the, the friends I made on the show were terrific. That was great. But I didn't have anything to do on the show. I wanted to start doing some acting, and so that was hard. Three years on the show, and I, I, I really wanted to get off after about the first year and, and couldn't because I was under contract. And, yeah, and that's, that I perfectly understand. But being on night court just feels like heaven.